honestly, like I'm just so effing over corset sizing. I feel like a fraud, a corset fraud. I'm taking accountability and I'm taking responsibility for the fact that I did not do the research or the adequate research I should have done in the beginning. And I'm just, I'm, I'm contemplating my entire life right now. I'm contemplating my entire corseted life. I don't want to feel like a fraud and I don't want to lie to you guys. So this is what I've been doing. Let me show you. So I've been on Mystic City Corset and here you can see like how to do the measurements. So I actually measured it before I was making this video and I wrote down my measurements, but I'm just gonna show you what I mean by, I think I'm like a normal slash short torso versus the long line that I've been thinking I was. So I usually sit cross-legged because I don't have any furniture in my room as you can see yet. So I'm gonna measure it this way too. So from the bottom of my bra until my thigh. So let's do it kind of on the side here. So my thigh. Um, let's see, I don't wanna setting it straight. Moving my fat out of the way. It's about nine and a half, 10 inches. Let me show you. But when I was sitting in my chair, cause obviously, you know, when you're sitting down on the floor, your legs kind of push up versus they're just being relaxed sitting on a chair. And when I measured on the chair, uh, the, from the bottom of my bra to the top of my thigh, it was eight inches. And then the bottom of my bra to the top of my hip bone was seven inches. So the point I'm trying to make with all of this is that I have been going based off of my standing measurements versus my seated measurements. That's why I mentioned that I feel like things are always poking me here and there when I'm sitting down. So I'm going to move forward and I'm going to try attempt to buy a corset that is more like regular slash for short torsos and see how that fits me based off of these current measurements yeah things are a changing and I honestly like i feel like i have measured those in the past but i don't know i think just like for some reason like it just kind of clicked and i'm like wait a second I think I have a short or regular torso. I don't think I have a long line torso because I have been buying corsets this entire time since I started waist training. I've been measuring my torso like vertically and going with that size versus whilst sitting down. And that's why I'm like, why do these corsets always um, dig into my hip flexors and then sometimes I feel like my legs are going numb which I know it should not happen but it does happen and here I am to tell you like this whole time it's been my fault maybe that's why also why my bunny ears whenever I tie them I always feel like I have to I always feel like with my bunny ears I have to uh, lower them a little bit more because they always sit a little a little too high and then I feel like I have to lower the bunny ears because I just feel like it doesn't sit right on my waist. And I have received comments on this multiple times throughout my corseted life. So since 2013, the fact that, you know, you, the viewers, you guys can see that the corsets are not sitting on my waist, it's just a little bit above my waist. And a lot of you always tell me to get well, this is the thing I still need to figure out. The whole hip spring and bust spring. That whole thing I still need to figure out. This has been very eye-opening. Yeah. Corset fraud. Oh my god, I look like so chaotic right now, but hear me out. So this is like a completely different day from the me you just saw, right? Obviously different clothes, right? I 
contacted Timeless Trends and Mystic City Corset because I'm like, I need to figure this out. I need to figure out what is going on regarding my corset sizing, hip spring, bust spring, etc. And to make a long story short, <sighs> Timeless Trends reached back out to me and they said that I would best be suited based on the measurements I sent them an hourglass short. And I asked her, I said, okay, answer me one question. And I'm going to show it right here regarding the corset lengths, uh, short, regular, and I think it's long. Um, what, like, where does it measure? Is it from the underbust till the upper hip or is it from the underbust to like the pelvic area? Side note, I've always measured myself from, for, for underbusts. I've always measured myself from my under bust, like right under my boob, till like, uh, what is this called? Hip flexor? Like where it, um, I just ate some a little food baby. But where this, uh, what is this called? Yeah, this is the hip flexor until the hip flexor. So this is what I've been measuring the whole time, right? Tell me why she responds and says, it's from the under bust to the upper hip. Upper hip, my upper hip. So this is my hip bone. I don't know if you can see like poking right there. This is where it starts. So this is my upper hip. My lower hip would be, I guess, where I've been measuring it. Excuse me. Excuse me. He's very needy right now. Um, so I'm just like, I'm kind of appalled at myself for always thinking that I've been a long line. And now I'm over here like, do I need to buy a short corset? I'm kind of scared about buying a short corset because I don't want it to be too short. I don't want like a lot of muffin spillage. But at the same time, maybe this is going to fit me. Hey, 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 we're not biting. This is going to fit me a lot better, hopefully. Part of me wants to buy a regular, but I think I'm just going to go with what she said and do an hourglass short. I told her that I wanted like an exaggerated uh, waist. And I told her my measurements. I gave her my measurements. Let me show you. Let me show you. And I have literally measured myself like 15 times like not bloated bloated just have eaten right in the morning when I wake up just to kind of see like what's going on and like I said I just ate right now so I do have a food baby but the length of your body the length of your torso doesn't necessarily change it's more so like the circumference right okay so and I'm not wearing a bra so I'm gonna just kind of do something like that so it's obvious that this is the you guys can kind of see my rib whatever okay we're doing inches so right under the boobage up to the top of the hip which is right here upper hip she said eight inches guys eight freaking inches and she said to do it while standing up. Because I always thought I was a long line because when I measure my torso while standing up, obviously I'm not standing up completely. This is me standing up completely. And again, it's still... Okay, it's about when I stand up completely... It's about nine inches, but I am putting it right above my boob, right below my boob. Whereas you're supposed to put it right below your bra strap. So it shouldn't be right below my boob. It should be like, I guess right there. Cause then if you go around, this is where my bra strap is. These are horrible angles. This whole video is so chaotic, but 
I just want to show you guys. Like, I just want to talk to you guys, you know? Yeah, see, eight inches. If it's right, let me get down here. So I'm doing it right there, which if you do the like, circumference way, this is like where my bra strap kind of like, you know, ends. So what I usually measure is down to here, which is 10 inches on my knees. And then when I get up, it's about 10 and a half, give or take. But what I usually do is I usually go right below my boob, not below the bra strap. So it's like literally sitting right under my breast and I would measure and I would go down to my hip flexor and that's about 12, 11 and a half to 12. That's why I have, <laughs> That's why I've always thought that I was a long line. I know in some of my videos, I've mentioned like manifesting and things like that. You're probably gonna think I'm nuts, but I'm gonna share this with you. And that's that we all know that social media can kind of influence, it's not kind of, it influences us regarding our physique, how we look, I'm 5'2". Obviously, I'm on the curvier side. And there's a lot of people online that are slim, slender, slim, thick. Pretty much, they're, they're skinny, right? And they have long legs, or at least the photos, the way they take their photos and, you know, edit their videos and stuff, it makes them look like they have long legs. And kind of like, I don't want to say a short torso, but I'm gonna. You know, not a long torso. It's more like they have long legs. I don't remember how long ago this was. I think it might have been like about a year or so ago, maybe less, like maybe nine months to a year. I told myself, I said, I wish that I had long legs and a short torso because I just want to be able to look the way they look, right? I mean, obviously I'm trying to lose weight and it's going well. Obviously, I would want to speed it up a little bit, but um, I mean, I'm being real with you guys. I want to be skinny. I want to be on the thinner side. But anyways, so I love my curves. Don't get me wrong. I would love to, I hope that I get to keep my boobs and stuff, but I just want to lose weight, right? Anyways, so yeah. And now tell me why I'm over here learning that I'm actually a short torso, Hopefully it makes my legs look longer. And you know what's even funnier is that if you look on like my YouTube history, if I find it, I'll post it right here. I, I would always search for how to dress with a long torso. But I don't have a long torso. I'm just like, I don't know guys. Oh, okay. And then my hip springs. Did I write any of this stuff down? Probably not. So I'm going to go with a 24 inch corset. I'm not going to go with the 22 inch corset. I have gotten comments and I appreciate all of like the constructive criticism comments, the negative comments. Like I just learned from you guys, regardless of how you say it, even if it sounds like low key, like fucking mean, I learn from it. And I should not purchase a corset that is based on my goal waist. I should purchase a corset that I can currently fit in. So I think I'm going to go with a 24 inch corset and I'm not going to buy a power corset only because, well, I mean, they were made for people with, I think, um, spinal issues who like kind of struggle with, you know, back problems and stuff. And it helps them with, um, their, sp their, I don't know if it's a disorder, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, back problems, spinal problems. Anyways, I mean, it gives like amazing looking curves, but at the same time, yeah. I'm going to go with either Timeless Trends or Mystic City Corset. Uh, I'm waiting to hear back from Mystic City Corset because I want to see like what they say versus what Timeless Trends just said, which is Hourglass Short. Um, I did get the email that said that Mystic City Corset received my request so they said they usually respond with I think what's like 
within 72 hours, three to five business days, something like that. I'm not gonna post this video until I receive um, the Six Cities response. So you'll probably see me in different clothes and you know, hopefully a different hairstyle. <laughs> and yeah, so I just wanted to update you guys on that. Okay, I'm out, peace. Hey y'all, so <laughs> today is like a new day, obviously. I just woke up, I had my hair in braids, I have a helmet, <laughs> I have a helmet head. So Timeless Trends responded back to me and they were like, oh, um, they were talking to me about the hip springs and bust springs. Um, I'll show it to you guys right here. I'll show it to you guys wherever I end up showing you. But also, I want to like vent, I guess. Um, this is me just being like, you know, real vulnerable and like not lying to you guys. I have not been wearing my corsets, um, you know, my steel bone corsets for like a couple of days now. I think the main reason is because I just... I'm really sick and tired of it being so long, like getting my hip bone and then just like, I already told you guys what, what happens when I wear my corsets. And I don't know why it's acting like this a lot more recently. I couldn't tell you. I mean, is it because I gained weight? No, because I wore those corsets when I was the same size. I don't know, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's because I gained weight. But it just feels, it doesn't feel tighter, it just feels longer, which is so strange. So anyways, as you can see, I'm wearing a waist trainer. And I have been wearing this waist trainer. I have been wearing this waist trainer for about, so I slept for about eight hours, maybe like 10 hours or so. So I'm gonna take it off because I wanna show you guys something. And I know I'm always like, no, waist trainers suck. But in all actuality, waist trainers are really cool because watch my curves, dude. I mean, yeah, I, I get this with a corset and it's actually a little bit more prominent when I wear a corset. But I mean, like, for a waist trainer? So... And it is helping me with like water weight, bloating, gas, all of the above. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because last night I was like, it was bedtime, right? And I was like, oh, uh, I'm going to take my waist trainer off and go to bed. And I was like, you know what? No, let me wear it for a little longer. And then I'll do like part of the video that I've been doing, which is this video, to show you guys like what, what I'm doing. Because like I said, I haven't been wearing my corset. And, I mean, I mean, it, it's not, it's, waist trainers don't give what corsets give, but at the same time, like, they're not horrible. Yeah, so anyways, the reason why I'm telling you guys all this is because, ugh, I hate being wrong. Like, it's the one thing I hate doing. But whatever, whatever, whatever. You know how I was told that I'm that I'm supposedly a um, short torso, dopio, and a short cuff. <laughs> well, I'm gonna warm this up a little. This is my theory as to why I think that I always thought I was a long line versus uh, a short, like the way we measured. Because when I was first you know, looking into corset training and watching all of Lucy Corsetry's videos, you know, binge watching them a couple years back, almost a decade back. I'm like 115% sure that I came across the how to measure video, right? And I think I thought that I was measuring incorrectly and that I should measure it my way because of my muffin spillage. Everybody, you all know what the muffin spillage is. When you wear something tight and then you got muffin spillage, right? So I think that's why I was always like, no, I can't. This is, 
I have to be a long line because if I wear a short or even average um, corset, then I'm gonna have lots of muffin spillage. Maybe I'm just measuring incorrectly or maybe I misunderstood what the video was talking about in regard to how to measure. I was just thinking like of so many things as to what I could have done wrong and how I, you know, for over a decade thought I was a long line. Again, I don't know why all of a sudden this is changing, like why all of a sudden my body is now shortening or it probably is a manifestation. I mean, what else could it have been? You know, I didn't grow, I'm still five foot two, but that's neither here nor there. Maybe it is. But the point is, is that, I mean, there really isn't a point to this video. I'm just sharing these deep thoughts that I have about my corseted life with you all. And hopefully you guys don't judge me for being a fraud. Oh, Dailed espresso from Starbucks is disgusting. Espresso, espresso, not espresso. Es yes, Bobby, it's espresso. He already ate, guys, so. And he's been throwing up because I leave the food open. I let him eat a little too much. No, you can't. You can't keep eating. I'm sorry. You're just a baby. Anyways, I don't think that is it for this video unless I come across something else. Hi lovers, so I'm back. It's the same day as the helmet hair. <laughs> I just changed a little bit because I'm about to go get a massage. I just checked on Timeless Trends website because I was like, okay, hourglass short. We're still waiting for Mystic City Corset. Let's see what they got, right? Okay, so hourglass short, hip springs and rib springs or bust springs are very much smaller than the springs that I need, which you saw previously in this video. I need a rib spring or bust spring of about 10 inches because my, from what I've been told from like 15 different people, as well as my own like research, my hip, my rib spring is my under bust, which is 34 inches minus my corset size, which is 24 inches. I need to make a whole video on this, but um, that's 10 inch, 10 inch difference, right? So 10 inch uh, rib spring. And then we have the hip spring, which is your upper hips, which is 37 minus corset size, which is 24. And I think that was 14 difference. So a 14 inch hip spring, right? All of the Timeless Trends hourglass shorts are like four inch rib spring, um, seven inch hip spring. And I'm just like, this is not, this is not suited for me. Like, and then when I asked her, hey, you know, about the whole hip spring situation, you know, what about hip spring and rib spring? Doesn't that have anything to do with it? She was like, yeah. And then she sent me a link. But the main reason why I contacted the company was because I wanted to figure out my springs, right? I know my corset size. It's easy. I mean, obviously she did help a lot because she kind of like threw it there like, hey, like you're short, you're not long line. Or maybe you're even average, but that might be a little too long for you. So I don't think a, a hourglass, an hourglass short would be beneficial for my body type. I'm gonna look into the Gemini corsets because you do need to have at least a 10 inch spring for those. And I do, I'm gonna see if there's any Gemini shorts or Gemini averages, which I'm sure there probably are, right? Not all long lines. Um, so I might, I might go with that. Honestly, like I'm just so effing over corset sizing. Like I know nobody said sizing yourself for a corset was gonna be easy. Like I know it's a difficult, challenging task and nobody likes doing it. Although it does have to be done if you want a corset. I just am so over this, dude. Like, and also I'm gonna be getting a black corset. I, when I was looking online, I was like, you know what? I need to get a black corset because I always, dirty my corsets right especially if i'm going to be uh 
wearing it every day like I am telling myself I'm gonna be wearing it every day it's gonna get dirty look how dirty my pink satin one is from Orchard Course like that one's disgraceful like I said I've tried cleaning it but the dry cleaners it says that it's not dirt it's just like the material has been like ripped in a sense that's why it looks like it's dirty I don't know anymore guys i'm just so over this and i just can't wait to go get my massage so yeah mystic city hasn't responded yet and i'm not gonna wait for them to respond if i buy a corset before they respond like oh well if they give me something extremely different than what timeless trends gives me i mean i might look into it but for now i'm just gonna go with what timeless trends says because obviously like, i'm kind of impatient i want to start wearing my corset again I want to start wearing a corset that actually fits me so yeah oh also i wanted to tell you guys that my waist trainer the black one that you guys saw earlier um that one is actually a long line waist trainer that i got from amazon but surprisingly it doesn't give me pain the way the corsets do i'm assuming it could possibly be due to it being latex and it kind of bunches up on the torso a little it's not completely straight the way the corsets are and also it doesn't have any steel bone in it, it has plastic so i just wanted to mention that because i don't think i mentioned it it's a long line but i don't know i'm not i don't hate my long line waist trainer as much as i you know hate my long line corsets anyways this video is kind of going to be coming to an end now um i just got my massage i'm gonna get food and go home edit this crazy wild ass thing and i'm also going to be looking at some corsets too so stay tuned to see what corset i end up getting <laughs> love you all till the end ciao